All right, hello everybody and welcome to another Forge tutorial. This time I've got an interesting mode. This one was a request by um, somebody who commented on uh, one of the videos about applying traits. Um, and this viewer was wondering if there was any way that they could do this with bots and kind of create um, like almost like a one bot system that would be a really difficult one for the rest of the uh, players to take on. So what I did is I kind of added a little bit of a twist to that and you'll see that um, once I jump in here. But uh, yeah, so let's get into this and uh, see how this kind of behaves. So hopefully I don't get killed too bad right here trying to show this. So essentially the bot will spawn with overshields. And now hold on, because this would be interesting. I guess you did this. Once we kill this bot. <laughs> oh yeah. He's got a lot of damage Okay, so finally we killed that bot, and now we see there's two of them. So what happens in this mode is every time you kill one of those bots, another one spawns. So this is almost like a wave-based system. So that's kind of the twist I wanted to put on it and uh, just make it even more difficult. And you could even do it to where you could do this with uh, random trait sets too. So you could spawn bots with uh, just completely random uh, traits, and that would be really interesting as well. But let's get into the node graph, and I'll show you kind of how I um, implemented this. So... And obviously the level that I have here, this is just for an example. Um, at the moment, I just would like to show everybody how to do visual scripting. And I'm not sure if I'll get into the building as much. Um, but anyways, let's jump into this node graph. And it turns out to be a pretty simple script to actually to write. Um, now, I don't have anything in here as far as team-based logic for uh, you know doing any kind of special um, scoring or enemy uh, versus you know friendly kind of team balancing or anything like that um, this is mostly just it's always going to add bots to Cobra team so let's start off uh, with what we've got in the top left I always like to do that and I always like to put my variables and traits up here um, so what we've got here is we're just declaring this trait set here and I just called this one uh, traits zombie tank so uh, in order to modify these nodes in here, you'll want to make sure that you put an identifier in here that you're going to remember, and I do traits and then zombie tank. So that's what I call these ones. Um, and this trait list here, we've just got uh, three different traits that we've got plugged into it. Uh, we have a uh, visual effect, this VFX here that we're applying, and the, ver uh, the visual effect is the overshield effect, and I want that to uh, be enabled, so I set that to true in here. Um, the next one is just bonus health, and since you don't really get to apply the overshield, you could give the bot an overshield when they spawn, but you aren't sure whether or not or when they're going to use it. So if you always just kind of want them to have that overshield, uh, this is one way to do it. Um, I'm adding this bonus health in here to kind of simulate that, and then... In here, I'm also adding damage resistance, so this is where the tank element comes in to where they can, you know, they can really take a hit. So uh, they have double direct damage uh, resistance. They have uh, one and a quarter, so that's 1.25 grenade damage and also explosive damage resistance. So uh, those are the traits that I'm setting on uh, my bots. Now, remember, we've just declared it here, so... So far, we don't have this actually set on any of these bots, and we also don't have any bots in the game yet. So in order to do that, we've got this on gameplay start uh, event over here, and what I've done is I've just added this single bot. And since we always want to start off with just one bot and this kind of variation that I've made, um, we just, just right when the game starts, add a single bot. And again, we're adding it here to Team 2. This is uh, Cobra or the attacker's team. And then in your game variant logic uh, or in the menus, you're going to want to set it up to, you know, uh, have everybody on Eagle Team. And then that way, when you spawn, uh, you'll all be uh, facing the bots on Cobra Team, uh, if that makes sense. So 
moving on so we have the bot so so far we we don't actually have any traits applied to this bot so in order to do that we have over here this on player spawn event and so what we're going to do is we're going to branch because we need to check well when any player spawns we don't just want to add traits to any player so what we're doing here is we're using the get is bot and you can find that under bots and that is the get is bot node which returns true if the player is a multiplayer bot so what we did is right here this branch is going to branch our code if it's true it'll go over here if it's false it'll go over here into this node and that's why it's called branching so it's just making a decision it's an if statement so we're saying if this player that spawned is a bot and remember this is just driving the event so this is just saying when this happens we're gonna check this condition here this isn't where the player is going in the player is specifically being checked right here we're saying is it a bot and this is bot is a boolean that is saying either true or false and so if this is say a player that is not a bot obviously this would be false so when we check here it would not go into here so vice versa um, so right here we're just checking is this a bot and if it is a bot apply our trait set and here remember we have our traits zombie tank so that's the identifier that we've set when we declared our trait set all the way up here and so that just makes it really easy the way I've got it set up because that means that anytime a bot is added to the game that bot will always have these traits and obviously this is specific to this mode so you might not want to do this in every mode of course um, but moving on to, in order to get the uh, system working to where it's almost like wave based uh, where you have just more enemies coming in uh, I wanted to kind of stage it like that um, and in order to do that I have the on player killed event which will also fire for bots remember bots are players too so whenever you're doing anything like say we're over in the players and we do get all players well that's going to contain bots as well so um, you just have to maybe when you're filtering so say for instance you have the entire list of players and you have get all players well if you wanted to do some logic on this and just um, what we could do over here is just go to logic and then for each player and here you know what we could do is do a branch so again logic branch and then execute on for each <clears throat> and then we can take this and go to players and oh excuse me not get is player we want to go into bots and then get is bot and that is for current player here and then here what we'd be able to do is some kind of logic so if you ever want to do any kind of like filtering on all of the players maybe you want you're, you would still have to invoke this event here um, from something else maybe this is for every n seconds so this would fire like every few seconds and then you could do some logic and check the status of bots or do some extra stuff um, and then that that's just an easy way that way you can dig the bots out of the list of players but again I just wanted to show you that um, to get that wave based stuff going here we're just doing on player killed we're getting that killed player here we're saying is that player a bot and if it is add another one and remember since whenever a player is spawned I have this event over here automatically that bot gets those traits applied because this will fire and we'll go over here to is bot and then it'll branch and then just apply those traits and that just makes it really easy and then that way every time you kill a bot every time a bot spawns those traits get applied so um, but yeah so I just wanted to show that kind of quick simple system that I built up you know like I said this would definitely need some extra stuff but if you're just wondering kind of how to get started with this um, this is definitely a way that you can uh, just jump on in so if you need a good shot of this I'll just leave it up like this for a moment um, and also here if you're interested in the traits that I've set but alrighty well thank you for watching and uh, if anybody has any further questions or any other ideas be sure to let me know just to let everybody know kind of the status of things I've created uh, quite a few videos in the last two days and I've gotten a ton of requests to make content 
So please be patient while I've got some things in the works and I'm finding out the best ways to do things uh, for all of your requests. Um, I'm kind of surprised by how many people are actually asking all these really just interesting and different uh, questions for the scenarios they want to build. And uh, I definitely would love to help out. So just be patient with me and I'll try to get to everybody's questions. Um, and thank you again for all the views and everything. It's uh, actually just a lot of fun for me to do this. So, but anyways, um, I will see everybody in the next one. So thank you so much.